Good morning, my friends. It's Thursday, November 3rd, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. My cat is having her second helping of breakfast this morning. She's hungry. And I have with me this uh, another beautiful picture by Doug Ng. This is called Beach Invitation. Beautiful photograph here. Could very well be the beaches here at Jacksonville. I've always pictured the entrance to heaven as being somewhat like this, of just a, a path. And perhaps Jesus shows up and says, come with me, come. Come inside, come further. I can take you to the waters. An invitation into a beautiful place. We continue in the strange, wonderful, and confounding book of Revelation this morning. There is a battle that is about to take place, and it is called Armageddon. Armageddon comes from the word Megiddo, which is a place uh, about 60 miles north of Jerusalem, near Mount Carmel. And it is a place that exists where there was a battle, where Judah lost um, to Egypt at the time, but it was the beginning of the break that caused Judah to eventually fall to Babylon, part of the Babylonian Empire. So it was, in a way, the beginning of the end of, of Israel's glory days. It was the beginning of the bad times. Armageddon is considered to be a reversal of that, that battle that will take place between good and evil in which the good finally wipes out the evil. But what's interesting in the book of Revelation is that Armageddon actually doesn't really happen. Jesus shows up and there isn't a fight, if you really read it carefully. In fact, the angel comes and says, it is finished. Just like Jesus said on the cross. There's actually no fight at all at the end. It's just, it's just God. How amazing is that? Interestingly, in the book of Revelation, all of this is about sort of making things clean. The wrath of God that pours out on the earth, all these battles, it's, um, it's a shaking up and a cleaning up so that in the end, all is well and put in its place. You know, we always think of judgment as being a, a scary thing, a bad thing, but I, I don't know if you've ever been in a dispute and, and a judge makes a ruling it's also the end. It's just done. The fight is over. It's resolved, whether you like the resolution or not. It's resolved and it doesn't continue. It's a way for us uh, to end things, to end these fights that can go on and on and on. Finally, someone says, when? Here's the decision. Now stop fighting and everybody go return to your lives. So perhaps we could think of God's judgment a little bit differently. Not so much as us being thrown to hell, but as God saying, enough, enough fighting. Let me just clean this up, put everything in its proper place, and then invite you home. And I find it fascinating that this, this huge Armageddon that's so big of a deal doesn't even actually happen. God just makes it okay. If you love God, I really am convinced, and I think Jesus um, reassures us that we put our trust in him. And this judgment stuff, it's not something to get too consumed with, but just to know that in the end, Jesus would say to us, don't worry, I got this. <laughs> I got this. It is finished. All will be well, and you will be invited home. Let us pray. We thank you, Almighty God, for the gift of this life. We thank you for all of its challenges which cause us to grow. We ask you to help us learn 
learn from our struggles, our pain, our failures, learn from our gifts and blessings, and just grow closer to you, trusting that in the end, you've got this. And it's not our job to fix the world. That is only something you can do. We ask you to bless the sick today, Lord Christ. We ask you to bless the weary, the brokenhearted, those who mourn, those who struggle with addiction and mental illness and their loved ones. We ask you to bless all those who work all the time or fear that they have no time for rest. Bless those who find themselves caught up in disputes that never end. Bless those who find themselves alone. Call us, Lord, into your service today that we may bring a bit of peace to this world, a bit of serenity. Call us to do your work, whatever that may be, from the small things to the large, one moment at a time. Guide us that we may be your servants here on earth, looking forward to being with you in the age to come. All this we pray in the name of Jesus, your son, who loves us, gave himself for us, and who in the end will make all things well. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.